this is a vlog about how I got from here. As of now, I still I still don't know when my recital is gonna be to here. With some unexpected trouble on the way, a series of very unfortunate incidences, which involves my mom being tested positive for COVID. Hi everyone, it's Linda. I wanted to make a vlog about the process of preparing for a performance and specifically in this instance is for my graduation recital of my master's degree at Juilliard. It certainly became a much more chaotic <laughs> vlog than I expected, uh, but that's life and that's how things roll. Good morning! Today is April 4th. 2021. The cherry blossoms are blooming, it's such a beautiful day, but here I am finally buckling down to make sure that I actually plan my practice for the next six weeks. First of all, Juilliard reminded me, recitals at Juilliard, IMS notification, 40 days warning, whatever that means. My recital deadline, as in the deadline to submit the recording of my recital is May 14th, so that means I have 40 days until I have to submit it. As of now, I still I still don't know when my recital is gonna be. I'm probably I'm thinking probably the Tuesday before. So the 11th, I think, is the dead is the due date. Great, that's one thing off my checklist. Now, try to make six weeks out plan of what I need to do. I have made a goal of doing weekly streams on Twitch to run through parts of my repertoire and hopefully... So, first step today, I am planning... The red dots stand for my teachers, our lessons together. So I have six more lessons before my recital, but really five lessons because the last lesson probably will just be running through all of my repertoire. The repertoire, I'm gonna just mark those with a red dot, all the ones that I haven't memorized yet, or it's not super confidently in my head. So those are kind of top priority because memory, I feel like, really makes me feel like I have the piece. And yeah, this is what I'm doing on a lovely spring day, indoors, practicing, recording, and trying to get back into it. I've gotten a lot of acceptances from schools, thankfully, but yeah, I need to get back to all these schools with a response by the end of this week. I, my, my mind is kind of consumed by that. Hi, it's April 5th today, just the day after I buckle down and uh, vow to practice well. I was supposed to have a lesson today, but my teacher said there was no class, so I was not aware of that, probably because it's Easter. It's the afternoon after I practiced pretty well. I stream my practices, so it usually goes pretty well when I stream, just because there's some kind of accountability. And yeah, so now I am looking at this email that Julia sent me about all the forms that I need to fill out. So I decided I'm gonna do it now and be proactive. Yeah, so this is how I need to fill out the program detail. It's about six days, no, seven days, a week, a whole week before my recital next Tuesday. Yeah, so a lot has happened since then. A series of very unfortunate incidences, which involves my mom being tested positive for COVID last Monday. And I've not been allowed home because she needs to isolate. In the meantime, I went and rented a keyboard. So for the past week, two weeks before my recital, this has been my setup and starting tomorrow I can actually go home and practice on a real piano. Practice on the keyboard has been not too bad. It's obviously not ideal but I've been able to get through my pieces almost every day. I've booked a hall in Vancouver 
to record my recital in it ends up it's going to be a pre-recorded recital even though I was planning to do it from home so anyways today my plan is and my goal is to actually outline what I'm gonna talk about about each piece I also need to start doing some publicity things on social media because I've more or less done nothing but yeah anyways today my project is formulating the speech so I wrote out basically a rough script yeah so here we go hi everyone thank you so much for coming to my graduation recital it's been an interesting two years at Juilliard uh, to say the least and I Goblin that I just packed up for the concert tomorrow. Today I'm done, I finished practicing and doing my last run through, it felt okay, I still have some things that I want to go through mentally just to make sure that, you know, my focus is going to be there and things are going to work out at the end. Yeah, so just those last minute tweaks and just going to make sure that I uh, take care of myself today and get a good night's rest so that I can be on my best day tomorrow yeah so now I'm gonna drive home now I'm home and before dinner I just want to go over all the spots that I had trouble with during my run through today
yeah so basically on concert day it's like maximal comfort and i want minimal hassle getting into my concert dress so like tights like this i can just wear it under my dress basically so if i don't have a change room then i can throw it on really quickly and this this shirt like has a really wide collar so that when i take it off it doesn't mess up my hair or my makeup and then this is just warm and i can wear this over my dress as well so this is my how i dress up content Okay, we're on our way now. <laughs> Steve, the driver, Hi. slash manager, slash producer, director of the whole shebang. The whole, oh, right. Of the whole shebang. <laughs> <laughs> Overflowing lunch bag. Welcome to my graduation recital. I have to say it's been an interesting but very very fulfilling two years at Juilliard. We just finished recording. I mean, I just finished recording. <laughs> Thanks, Steve, for all his help. Hey, how do you think it went, though? 
Um, you know, starting is always hard. And then because I filmed, it was pre-recorded. So I always thought, okay, maybe I can go back and do it again later with each piece. Anytime I make a mistake. And then I start like an internal debate of whether or not I should go back and do it again. But other than that, it went well. <laughs> I was pretty happy with my Schumann. Uh, the Ravel, I knew I could, I only had one take in me, so yeah, it's a pretty exhausting piece. And the speaking portion was surprisingly a struggle. I had long speeches, right? Yeah. Uh, more importantly, how was the audience? Uh, audience was great. My audience of one person was very attentive and hungry the whole time. <laughs> Probably more hungry. Than I really I enjoyed the performance. It was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, I won't be uh, marking it though. So. Won't be marking. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah. So now, uh, say goodbye to Vancouver Academy. Thank you for your help. I don't know if I can. There's We can't go. <laughs> we can run it over. Uh, it was really loud though and annoying. What if you run it over? along with me for the ride. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any tips for concert preparation or how you prepare for concerts. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumb, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos of my life as a music student and other musical content. Thank you for watching and bye for now.